Have you always wanted to design your own quilts? And do you have <coughs> the AccuQuilt Cube system? Electric Quilt 8's new AccuQuilt add-on makes it easier than ever to be your own quilt designer. Or does it? Hi, I'm Amy and I make things and today I'm making a quilt design with the new AccuQuilt add-on for EQ8. And I have thoughts. Come on, let's talk about it. Electric Quilt 8 from the Electric Quilt Company is a vector-based design software and it's been around a long time. They're always working to add features and the latest feature is the AccuQuilt Cube System add-on, which now works for any sized cube. Electric Quilt was kind enough to send me the add-on for review. This video is not sponsored and all the opinions are honest and completely my own. So let's back up for just a minute and start with what is a cube? A cube is AccuQuilt's basic block cutting system. There's a base set with eight shapes and two add-on sets, corners and angles. These come in various sizes and the beauty of the system is that every shape in every box is the same, just the sizes are different. For instance, this one oh, creates a 12 inch block while this one creates a four inch block. It's just a matter of scale. And I'll link to the site with more information that explains the system. Electric Quilt is an interesting quilt design software. It can be a very powerful tool and do really cool things. Primarily, I use it to play with color and block sets. You can easily place blocks and flip them or rotate them until you find the pattern and secondary pattern you like. You can easily color and recolor your quilt to get an idea of how something will look. What you cannot easily do is everything else. My biggest issue with Electric Quilt is that I need a master class in vector-based software to really get the most out of it. Now, don't get me wrong, EQ has a ton of tutorials and instructional blogs and information available both free and paid to explain all the ins and outs of the program and I really do appreciate that. But frankly, that's an outmoded software model. The UI and the UX of Electric Quilt 8 are lacking. But besides that, what does the AccuQuilt add-on for EQ8 do? Well, after you have the EQ8 base software, which is about $240, you can add on the cube module for $40. And in short, it adds all the block combinations that AccuQuilt, the base systems have, 216, to your available block library. And it's nice. It's really nice to have and a great way to get more use out of both the investment tools of the design software and the cube system. But like I said, I mainly use the program to lay out blocks and play with settings and try out color. I'll show you now, specifically using the new AccuQuill add-on module. Okay, I open the EQ8 software and I choose design a new quilt from scratch. It brings me to this screen where I choose a straight layout and then the number of blocks, three by three. And then right here is where you choose your cube size. I'm using a 12 inch cube, so I enter 12 in both boxes. And then I'm going to go to the borders tab and just delete them for this project. And next is layout. And I am choosing the library, open library. And you'll see me scroll down until I find the AccuQuilt library. And then I open it and find the mix and match blocks. Select the two blocks that I want for this quilt and add them to the sketchbook. Close this and then they pop right up in my block setting tools. I can go up here to set block select this one and put it in all the places that I want it. Then I will select the next one and fill in the rest of the spaces. Now I'm going to go to fabric tools and I'm going to go just down to color for ease of use and I'm going to use the eyedrop select. Select that red and make sure all of my reds are the same by using the swap color option. 
eyedropper again to select this navy and turn all of my medium blues into navy. Rinse and repeat. Eyedropper, turquoise, swap, turquoise. Eyedropper white, swap white. Now I'm going to add this color set over on the left to my main sketchbook and give it a name. It will be saved. I can find it next time I open the program and then I can go to edit an existing quilt. From here, I go to the print and export and I select a block and I choose the rotary cutting option. I'm just gonna print preview so you can see what it is. It gives me a sketch of the block, a picture of the block, and then it breaks down, down here beneath, the shapes for one block. It tells you how many patches you need for one block. And you see those weird numbers, 7.237? With the AccuQuilt die system, I don't ever have to worry about finding that on my ruler. Close this tab, select the next block. It's going rotary cutting again. And it's going to give me the same information for one block. So now I'll have to multiply how many I need for each block. So here I'm going to go up to yardage and I'm going to open the screen that will give you a yard adjustment. Now this yard adjustment is not for the AccuQuilt, but what it does is it gives you the number of patches that you need for each piece. It should give you the die number, but it doesn't. Now I've gone back to working with color to show you how easy it is to change colors and play. I'm going to you just use swap color, choose the new all new colors for a different vibe of the same quilt, and this is where I like to play the most. I use this feature a lot. I'm going to choose and swap all of my turquoise to that light gray. I don't know why it didn't get all of them in one pass, but we just do it again. And then I am going to swap all of the navy for this black. And I mean, it's that easy. Then I can take and save this to the sketchbook again. And now both of the colorways are saved in the one quilt file. Here is the additional documentation that AccuQuilt gives you. First is the file that tells you how to use all the parts. It has the guide, good information here, and you know it gives you everything that you need and relationships and places to find anything that you, is not in this little list. And it demonstrates here that the AccuQuilt cube system is based on a four patch concept and then you scroll down a little further and it shows you how to make a custom set which is where you can use blocks of differing sizes that's beyond the scope of today's information scrolling down a little bit further I said it doesn't give you the yardage estimate for using your cube system it gives you instructions and estimated yardage for traditional rotary cutting here are the links and the documentation to help you convert the yardage estimates to your AccuQuilt system. Next is the PDF with the die number diagrams. So you select the block that you're using and you, or you go and find the block that you're using and it'll show you. For this one, I need die six, four, and five. And you have to do this for every block you're using. So that's a brief, brief basics of how I use it and not even scratching the surface of what the program can do. But like I said, that can be kind of an involved process. But what are the pros? The pros of the AccuQuilt add-on specifically, number one, you can relatively easily put the blocks into the design program and manipulate them and recolor them. It's fun to play with and watch secondary patterns emerge. Number two, it makes designing a quilt, visualizing it, much easier. Number three, I know I can design by block size and not have to cut any weird one and seven eighths or two and three sixteenths because they're key to the dies that I already own, so I don't have to measure it. All three versions of the blocks are there to play with. 
the cube basic, the angles, and the corners add-on. And if you have more than one cube size, playing with scale is fun. Like here's the basic block, but if you have more than one, this is the 8 inch finished, but I also have the 4 inch cube. So I could put this entire block in the blank space for the 8 inch, the 8 inch block. So instead of this, I now have a much more interesting and dynamic block using all the same systems in there again. I know I don't have to measure. And number four, five, I don't remember where we are. And number five, I think, no, I know. I know this will allow me to get more use out of my AccuQuilt cube system because I can easily view how all the blocks are gonna play together. So if you own the AccuQuilt, bleh, if you own the AccuQuilt cube system and want to design your own quilts, this solution lets you design a quilt that you can definitely cut all the pieces for with your dies and no more converting. Now, where there's room for improvement. I still have to do too much work. The program could and should easily label the die numbers and shapes for me and then tell me, you know, by my color graph, how many of each shape to cut labeled by die number. Number two, I wish that I could manipulate the die pieces individually so that I could create more than just the basic four patch grid system. I could add a third row for churn dash or other, other combinations instead of being locked into the preset blocks. Like I mentioned in the screen video, this does not give the fabric measurements for the AccuQuilt cutting system, so you need to estimate your additional fabric needs. And there's the link to do that, but there again, I have to do too much work. Here's the footage of cutting the quilt that I designed, and it's all from my scrap bins. And here is the completed quilt top. My sliding quilt system is, is away for the day, so it's just a photo. Sorry, guys. It took me about 45 minutes to press and cut the entire quilt, and you can't argue that that's fast. And I didn't have to measure anything. Will I continue to use EQ8 in the AccuQuilt add-on? Sure. It's nice to have, and it's fun to be able to manipulate the blocks into quilts I want to make and know that I can cut them quickly and accurately with the dies. No measuring. Do I think you should go buy it? Well, I have a very unsatisfying answer of, it depends. If you already own and use EQ8, and you own the AccuQuilt cube system, 
Sure, it's a no-brainer. Spend the $40 if you have it. It's very handy, fun to play with, and I know it will help you get more use out of your cube system. So yes, $40 worth the investment. Do I think you should invest in EQ8 just to buy the add-on for IQQuilt? <sighs> Probably not. It's a big investment of both money and time to learn the software. Now, if you are looking for a way to get more use out of your AccuQuilt investment tool and you want to learn EQ8 anyway, maybe. But that is a really specific use case. I think both tools are useful and fun and together they are better. I think that they are luxury tools that are nice to have but not at all necessary to make beautiful quilts. I am grateful to the Electric Quilt Company for sending me the AccuQuilt add-on and letting me play with zero restrictions on my honest review. That is a testament to their integrity. My best recommendation overall is to play with your tools. Be that Electric Quilt or AccuQuilt or rulers and rotary cutters. Play with them and stretch and see what you discover. I will link all the things that I've talked about in the box below. EQ8, the AccuQuilt add-on, and the AccuQuilt cube system. Do you already use EQ8? If you do, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss a video and never, ever forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.